Now we'll discuss combining FlexiCapture NLP capture technologies with the general classic uh, FlexiCapture capture approaches. The first thing that we need to consider is the order of operations. Unless you plan on just processing one type of document, you must use document classification to associate your documents with the correct document definition. And another approach would be to use batch types to separate things. But on its own, an NLP-based document definition will match uh, many, many different types of documents. And to be clear, we don't need to separate out flexi layout based document definitions. We can, we can actually combine technologies, NLP technology with classic flexi layout studio technology. And the way to do that is quite straightforward. You go ahead and create your flexi layout, import it into a document definition, and that could be capturing tables or whatever data. And then you go ahead and define the NLP fields and then go to the document section and as needed create your NLP models. Because NLP will always be executed after the layout, it's a good idea not to use NLP technology and flexi layout technology to capture the same fields. The NLP results will take predominance and they will be used for the actual field population. After this, we'll take the normal approach for NLP data capture where we create segments and then we create custom entities and if needed we use extraction scripts to call user dictionaries or use regular expressions or use NER. We can look at these sample documents and decide which are better for NLP technology and which are better for classic Flexi Layout Studio approaches. So looking at these, you can see that Flexi Layouts are very good for pay stubs, uh, bills of lading, and appraisals. These are containing table data and look a lot more like the classic semi-structured document that you are familiar with uh, and you know approaches uh, to capturing data from these forms using Flexi Layout Studio. And if we look at the third document, the appraisal, it can be, it could benefit from using Flexi Layout Studio to extract the table data. And also it could benefit from using NLP technology to uh, gather data from those paragraphs. And this last document, the notice, is a perfect example of a document that's set up well, um, laid out well for using NLP technology, you know, defining the segments first and then extracting entity data from within those segments. It's, it's a very good example uh, document. And this is a nice graphic that shows how NLP and Flexi Layout technologies can be combined. So first, we have a Flexi Layout that is uh, built to capture table data. That executes first. And then we've got an NLP model that captures segments. So here we've got a segment standing alone. We're just gathering all the data from a paragraph. And down here, we've got a segment that we're defining to capture entities within that segment. So in this way, it all works together, but just remember always that the flexi layout will execute first and the NLP will execute after that. It's important to note that the creation of NLP models doesn't necessarily have to follow the classic markup approach where um, an administrator um, goes ahead and, and selects segments and then entity data and then trains in a training batch. Um, these NLP models can be manually developed. So those manually developed 
NLP models can be created by Anto engineers really in a variety of ways and used in FlexiCapture. So if your goal is to extract entity data where the fields are discrete, the training methodology should work very well for you. But if you want to engage in cross-checking and find some relations between data, for this you might need some manually developed NLP models. These models again can be created by Abby Onto Engineers or other Onto Engineers and then zipped. And you can upload the zip file to a particular document definition. So how do you connect already created NLP models? So if so you need to start with a zipped file and upload that. And if there are fields that are referenced in that NLP model, those fields will be automatically added to the document structure. And know that you can mix trained models with manually developed models without any issues. So for example, you could create a segmentation model by training which is a very quick process through training. And then you could use manually created NLP models to do entity extraction within those segments. So we've talked about segments and entities, but we also need to think about when an entity repeats itself. So for instance, maybe there are several organizations in a segment, and so that would be a repeatable item or the segment itself may occur several times. But if the segment itself is going to be repeated, you need to extract the entire segment. So the approach to take is to create a group field and select can be repeated for the whole group. And to get more familiar with this whole process, uh, this is covered in a task so that you can get hands-on experience uh, with repeatable items. We use scripted rules not just to populate dictionary or enable the use of NERs. We can apply additional logic to help capture entities from paragraphs. By default, if we're trying to associate, for instance, this name, Alice Adrian, with the role grantor or Ann Willer, with the role grantee, because of the white space, NLP is not going to be able to associate those two pieces of data. But we could apply a simple script to assist with this capture goal. So if we look at this example, first we look for, in blue, a human NER object, such as Alice or Anne. Also, we can collect other words from dictionaries, such as these roles, grantee or grantor. So our logic can be to collect data from the NER object, the human NER object first, which means that we would not be collecting uh, grantee, but first thing we would collect is Alice Adrian. And then we can have up to 10 optional words. So after Alice Adrian, we have a number of words. After Ann Willer, we have a number of words. And then our logic can include keep order. So first we collect the human data and then the word from dictionary. And by doing so, we can collect data in this very organized manner where we got Alice Adrian first and her role, and then Ann Willer next and her role. So here, just one line of script enabled us to do something that's uh, pretty challenging and you couldn't do it with just training. So let's sum up. NLP is for unstructured content. We don't apply NLP for tables, lists, and words without surrounding text. In the FlexiCapture document definition, 
we're able to create two different types of models, NLP models, one for segmentation and one for extraction. We are able to train our models or upload them if they were manually developed. We have pre-trained NERs available to use, and we're able to use dictionaries as well as regular expressions via script to extract entities. We're able to combine standard capture, capture technologies, and keep in mind those technologies are very powerful uh, in Flexi Layout Studio, and combine those with NLP capture algorithms and approaches if needed. And we can apply some additional scripts to fine-tune the way that we extract data.